welcome to the Winter Halter Training Academy. First of all, does your machine look like this? Because if it doesn't, unfortunately you're actually watching the wrong video. However, if it does, what we're actually going to do is show you how to get the machine ready to use, how to use the machine correctly, and then how to drain it, and then how to clean it. Also, throughout the video, we're going to give you some great tips on getting the best usage out of the machine. Enjoy the next few minutes. Right, let's look at switching the machine on and starting up. Switch the machine on on the wall isolator. It will look like one of these. Next, ensure all the items are in the correct position, especially the wash filters. Now check the upper and lower wash arms are in the correct place. Now check the detergent and rinse aid containers are full and primed. Do not load any items into the machine at this stage and please close the door. Next, press the on button. The red light will come on. The machine will now fill and heat up automatically. When the machine is ready for use, the light will turn green. If you see any other symbols on the control panel, such as a spanner light, please speak with your line manager. Starting the wash program. By default, the machine is set up for a medium wash. If you require a shorter wash, press the plus button, then select the short wash option. If you require a long wash, press the plus button again, and then select the long wash option. To start the washing process, load the rack sensibly with no overlapping items. Make sure the plates have been pre-scraped and the cutlery is in an upright position with the handles facing down. Finally, apply the pre-wash spray and get the plates as clean as possible. Next, slide the basket into the machine and close the hood. Press the main program button. It will turn blue. When the wash program has finished, the button will turn from blue to green. Once the program cycle is finished, remove the wash items and repeat. Through the day cleaning. Firstly, lift the hood and remove the basket cradle. Remove and clean the filter basket. Replace the basket cradle and close the hood. The whole process can be completed without draining the machine. Drain down and cleaning. The machine is equipped with a self-cleaning program which assists you in cleaning the interior of the machine. Remove any racks from the machine. Make sure you leave the filter system in place. Close the hood. Press the drain down function button for three seconds. The button will now flash. Wait until all the lights on the control panel have gone out. The machine will switch itself off automatically when the drain down program is completed. Switch off at the mains isolator. Manual daily cleaning. Once the machine has turned itself off, lift the hood and remove the basket cradle. Remove the wash arms and check for any blockages inside the wash jets. Remove the strainer basket, the filter bed and the wash pump filter. Next, clean inside the machine, especially around and below the hood. Clean and rinse the wash arms, strainer basket, filter bed and the wash pump filter. Replace the wash pump filter, filter bed, strainer basket, the wash arms and then the basket cradle. And then you have a great clean machine. Water softening. If you see the S symbol flashing on the control panel you will need to add granular salt to the machine. Softening the water is important as this prevents the buildup of lime scale. If not softened, the machine will go white or cloudy inside. This will affect the washing results. For the integral water softener to function correctly, the machine must be filled with granular salt, not tablet or table salt. This is really important. To fill the salt, remove the grey cap inside the machine. 
Fit the funnel. Pour in the granular salt until the unit is full. Remove the funnel and wipe away any salt spillage from the machine. Replace the grey cap. Close the door and the whole process is finished. Always wear protective clothing such as gloves and goggles when handling chemicals. Only use products which are suitable for commercial dishwashers. Such products are marked accordingly. We recommend using products developed by Winterhalter. These products are specially formulated for Winterhalter machines. Chemicals include detergent, renovate and rinse aid. When using chemicals, stick to the safety notes and recommended dosages printed on the packaging. On no accounts should you ever mix chemical products. This is very important. Never use foaming products such as hand soap and washing up liquid. These items should never go into the washer. For more information on the Winterhalter range of chemicals, visit our website on www.winterhalter.co.uk. Well, that's it. Thanks ever so much for watching and I hope you found it really interesting. Don't forget there are four major rules. Your first rule is to make sure you put the right chemical inside the machine. Your second rule is make sure you stack your baskets correctly. Your third rule is to make sure you select the right cycle time. And your fourth rule is to make sure your machine is clean at all times. Don't forget, if you look after the machine, the machine will look after you. Thanks ever so much for watching the Winter Roller Academy.